for 4,000. I want to go over uh, the approach yes, phase. Uh, Mallory 6 Charlie Mike, let's yep. go left turn heading 1 and 0 0. Left turn 1 uh, zero, zero, 6 Charlie Mike. I just got a heading there, 1 0 0. Getting vectored for the approach here. So I want to kind of go over how to set up the approach phase um, during the fly. And this is. Uh, uh, going into Springdale, Arkansas. Uh, anyway, so when I when I get ready to do the approach, uh, I like on my uh, MFD 500 over here. I like having your traffic and terrain set up so I can see if I can run to anybody or anything. That makes for a real nice. Uh, All right, 3,400, six on my. I'm down to 3,400, double tap, go down, put 3,400 in there, and we continue, a little bit of rough there, there. Uh, continue the descent. All right, so I like uh, uh, tra uh, traffic and terrain on my left-hand screen, my moving map on my right-hand screen, um, and I went ahead and activated the approach in... Uh, in my uh, GPS, so vectors to final in this case. And I really like the situational awareness, so I can see exactly where I am, a little more rough air there. Uh, situational awareness of, uh, slow it up just a little bit. Situational awareness of uh, having the approach right in front of you. Now I can go over uh, on this MFD and I can uh, look at the approach. Mike, you are six miles from the final approach six. Turn left in zero two zero. Maintain three thousand four hundred till established on the final approach course. Cleared RNAV from with three six approach. All right, zero two zero. Maintain three thousand four hundred till established. Uh, cleared for the RNAV uh, three six approach. Uh, six Charlie Mike. Sky seven two Bravo. All right. Maintain. Uh, let's go four thousand. Shows back over here. Five five seven two Bravo. Down to four thousand three hundred. Three thousand and going to zero two zero on the heading. Uh, I've got the approach plate. What I use the approach plate for, I can go over and reference my uh, altitude. So I like, uh, you know, the, the beginning altitude and the uh, MDA. So uh, in this case, I can, I can scroll down here and see what the MDA is, or, and it, or it's a DA in this case, Decision Altitude, LPV Approach, 1603, so I put 1600 in, my minimums, get the minimums in there, the approach. Now we're getting, uh, the uh, autopilot coupled and uh, it should start rolling in here. Slowing it up to gear speed in this aircraft is uh, 170, so I'm at 170. Now, for me, I like waiting until, and I'll go ahead and put this back into uh, traffic and terrain. So, for me, as soon as the uh, glide slope starts coming into view, I go ahead and drop my gear, get it set up for the approach. So, one notch flaps, gear's coming down. Here's coming down three in the green. We got three in the green. Set my power about 20 inches. Thanks for the help. Contact Springdale Tower 118.2. Over Tower 6.5. Number 50 Yankee. Thanks for the help, sir. Springdale Tower, Malibu 286 Charlie Mike. Switch to 36. Malibu 286 Charlie Mike. Springdale Tower, runway 36. Cleared to land. Went 300 at 10. All right, clear to land 36. 6 Charlie Mike. Okay, so get everything set up here. Landing lights are all on. I like getting everything set up before. I grabbed the glide slope. So glide slope's coming up, and lights are on, gears three in the green, approach flaps, ready to go. Last thing I'll do is, I like having my um, angle of attack over here. Get that done really quick. And now I've got angle of attack, um, and up here I've got terrain and traffic, so I can see if I, still see if I'm running anything or anybody. And down here, I've got my uh, angle of attack going. Light slope, localizer. Right here, glide slope, localizer. We're coming out of 3,100 for 1,600. We're four miles out there. We got a guy that looks like coming in behind us. But look at all this, all this information, everything you need for the approach. If you drew a line across right here, right here, up, everything you need, you've got. 
airspeed, altimeter, attitude, glide slope, localizer, minimums, what the minimums are. We've got what the winds are doing to you right here. And of course, what your heading is, and that little track bug, you, if you're hand flying, you put the uh, track bug on top of the green course arrow, that's going to take you right where you want to go. As we continue our descent, make sure everything is set up correctly as we had before. Still got three in the green. Monitoring everything as we're coming down here. Okay, notice the green chevron coming up on our altimeter tape. That's 500 foot from minimums. Okay, I'm under 135. I want to go ahead and add one more notch of flaps. Oh, this autopilot does. Got the KSC 150 in here. I do okay. So we're going down and grabbing that wide slope. And Again, 500 foot for minimum, so you know when you see that chevron, you got 500 feet to go. Notice the, the yellow one's coming up here. Yellow chevron is, uh, the top of it's uh, 200 feet, the bottom of it's 100 feet for minimums. Okay, I'm going to disengage the autopilot. I have the runway. And at or below 3,000. Okay, I'm coming down. Went up on minimums. Springfield Tower, 10 Fox 7 Zulu Alpha, clear T10, I'm sorry. 7 Zulu Alpha remain west of the extended... It's like stay on the glide slope and all the way to the runway here. All right, we're hey, minimums, and notice you got the chirp alert. Coming down. Now, again, just going to stay right on the glide slope here. It takes you right almost to the 1,000-foot markers. I've got the runway made coming over the uh, threshold here. There's the numbers. Start to idle. Let her settle. She starts settling. Bring that nose up just a touch. Touchdown. Like so.